What do you want? By the three, I've never seen the mountain so active. And Bar Dao, I swear the moonlit looks like it's about to fall from the sky. I can't wait to set sail and put dry ground behind me. I was planning on sailing to Sadrith Mora next, but I don't mind taking you to an Alliance capital. Trade is always good in the capitals. I don't like the way- We're headed to Sadrith Mora if that's where you'd like to go. How cruel the fates that keep me from my heart's desire and force me to lock away my true feelings. Chains bind my heart, yet it yearns to be free. Oh, what does an outlander know about the complexities of Dunmary love? But you're only trying to help, and maybe I do need a simpler perspective. How does an outlander convince an overbearing mother that the object of their affection is worthy? Of course not. Tuwin is a slave, my mother's slave. I tried to buy her freedom, but mother laughed at the mere suggestion that I'd be allowed to sully our reputation with a noir bride. Perhaps an outlander's offer wouldn't rouse her suspicion. I don't expect you to pay, obviously. It's just that mother might reveal what it would take for her to release Tyrwin if it was anyone but me asking. Knowing that might give me some idea of how to free my love. It couldn't hurt to ask, could it? Tell her you've heard Tyrwin excels at finding red star shells. Telvani wizards prize them, and they're very rare. Most of the locals know that Tyrwin is the best at finding them. Mother loves to gloat. I couldn't bear gazing upon Tyrwin since Mother rebuked me. But now, I can't wait to see her lovely face again. I'll be down at the swamp where she hunts shells. Come find me once you've finished dealing with Mother. She'll be at our tower. Mind your step. I would not want you to step on this random patch of grass. I jest, of course. The Telvani force me to work, but I make sure it brings them no pleasure. I see you wear no shackles. Do you seek work? I know someone who needs help. In truth, you would be helping many Saxlil, myself included. During my latest escape attempt, I met an amber beauty with eyes like summer rain. Her luchial name is Sun in Shadow, but I call her my heart. She hatches a plan to set us free. Seek her out in Tel Naga. If I know my heart, she will be sunning herself in the light of some book, always reading that one. Always learning. If all goes to plan, she will read her books beside me in the boughs of a hist. Soon, I hope. Walk with Sithis, my friend, and mine the Telvani. They spin lies like an elder at the yarn wheel. I ventured too far from the hist and did not heed the bird signs. Dark elf slavers spine hooked me near Thorn. I escaped four times but never for long. Eventually, the Telvani bought me, at a discount, I am told. I take pride in that, at least. Laws are slippery things. The Ebonheart Pact outlawed Argonian slavery, but House Telvani refused to join the Pact. In truth, I cannot imagine how they would live without slaves. The Magisters are like overstuffed crocodiles. Dangerous, but lazy. I thank you for your offer, but I tire of breaking free only to be recaptured a day later. Sun in Shadow's plan will earn us a lasting freedom. If you help her, you help me. One 
more late ship had fallen. And you will never work in Vardenfell again. I'm terribly sorry, Master. It won't happen again. Ah, another useful idiot approaches. And what trifling matter brings you to me? I trust you're not here to waste my time. That would end badly for you. So Edra, I know, finally came through, did she? And she sent you in her place, no doubt because she believes I will turn her into a Vardvark. Or such nonsense. The things these commoners believe. I shall, of course, dock her payment for the late delivery. If you're lying, you do so remarkably well. If you're not, it is of no concern to me. You will receive the same coinage either way. Take it and be about your business. And tell Edrino that if she fails again, I shall locate another mushroom seller. And that concludes my deliveries for today. What an exciting life I lead. Lazy vermin. If you want to eat this week, work. Yes, mistress. Well, get to it. Now! Yes, mistress. Sorry, mistress. Pardon the mess. My slaves require another lesson concerning their work ethic. And they're no good overseer as well. I suppose I'll have to wield the lash myself today. Have my friends been gossiping about her again? You'd think there were no better topics of conversation. Yes, Tyrwin is my slave. She's no unshed Nyxhound, but she's still a capable harvester. What do you want to know about her? Well, I need someone who can do that too, and I already have Tyrwin. Seems like you're out of luck. Baseless slander! Though I do tire of these ugly rumors surrounding my son. Three red star shells. That's the smallest offer I'll entertain. A bargain. Oh, Tyrwin, where are you? What I'd give for just a glimpse. Well, did you speak to my mother? What did she say? Knowing her, it's something incredibly unreasonable. Three? Three? That's as many as Tyrwin manages to find in a month. And she's perfect. No, 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 no. If mother found out, she'd never let Tyrwin go free. Not for any price. It's an unreasonable sum. But the fact that she asked for red star shells might work in our favor. 
I've been training a Nyx Hound to help Terwin so she can spend more time with me instead of in that vile swamp. Aside from the fetch a fly incident, Nixie's got a solid track record. I'm certain she won't let us down. She's around here somewhere. Nyx Hounds vanish when they're afraid, and Nixie's a bit skittish. She'll head off toward the water after I call her. Look around the shorelines, and you'll probably find her digging up shells. Just go where she points. Come on, Nixie, show yourself! There you are. Nixie, go find star shells. Show this nice person where they are. Doing. Stop! Who are you? These are given lands, you know. Take any star shells from this speech and you'll have them to reckon with. He sent you here. To what? Spy on me? To find I can't even find privacy out in this forsaken muck. Because this is the one place I'm permitted to go that he's too afraid to follow. Out here, I don't have to endure his constant fawning or... Pretend not to see him watching me out of the corner of my eye. Love! I'm a slave and he's my master. Or as close as makes no difference. I wouldn't so much as smile in his direction if it didn't spare me the rod. Tell me why he has you gathering red star shells. What's he up to now? God, no. Fear of his mother's wrath is the only reason I can keep him at arm's length. If he's getting this bold... I have to get out of here. What Lonus wants for me isn't freedom. You really want to free me. Help me get away from these people. Faris keeps my servitude obligation hidden in a house. Steal it for me. I can forge a signature. It won't be perfect, but it should hold up well enough to get me out of Tilvani lands. I don't want to be bought. I want to be free. After all Faris and Lonus have taken from me, I don't want them to profit from my release. At least let me cost them. Fighting you in here. Do I have to? 
to summon a guard. Get out! You heard me! Step lively! You're leaving the estate. You decided not to help me, didn't you? I knew I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. You really did it. You... What's the catch? What do you expect for this? I... I don't know what to say. I was resigned to my fate before you showed up. Hardly seems real. Maybe it isn't, not until I'm staring at the shores of the Somerset Isles. I'll need it. You didn't ask for anything, but I want you to have this. Just the gold I managed to hide away over the years, minus what I'll need for passage. Not payment, a gift. For a friend. Goodbye, and thank you so much. Hey, get away from her! You will ruin everything! Shut up, you slavering jackal! You see this? I'm free. Tywin, I... I was supposed to free you. I was going to take your hand in marriage. It was going to be perfect. You ruined it! Listen to me, you little swit. I'm not your plaything, never was and never will be. I'd sooner lie with the maggots than share your bed. That can be arranged! When I tell Mother about this, you'll wish you'd never spurned me! You'll beg! You will beg! <sighs> that was liberating. Don't worry, I know these lands better than they ever will. Thanks again.
Yes. Can I help you, Surio? Bless his eyes. Yes, I'm Sun in Shadow. Ioki told you I have a plan to earn our freedom, right? It will require finesse and discretion. I trust that I can count on you for both. To earn my freedom, I need the help of Magister Therama. She's a recently elevated Telwani Magister. Not so set in her ways as the others and probably more likely to remember her early struggles. I know she wants something from Zane Terraris. I need to find out what it is, then get it for her. I'm afraid not. I traded in some favors to get a better idea of what she's seeking, but I learned very little. Apparently her mouth, Erevin Anthem, has some correspondence that might give us a clue. I need that letter. Oh, yes. House Telvani has its warts, but it's a true meritocracy. With enough guile and cunning, even a lowly slave can sit on the council. I've studied spellcrafts before I could lift a broom. All I need now is the sponsorship of a magister. The Rana's been haranguing the council, trying to get their help in claiming Zane to Raras from House Redrin. She wants something in that shrine. I aim to get it for her. Her mouth, Erevan Anthem, has a letter that contains the clues we need. Be cautious in the council house, Sarah. House Tilvani is not just some beast you can slay. In this place, subtlety will serve you better than any shield. We have to play the game. Ah, it was during one of his many escape attempts. I was cleaning Master Otheri's tableware when Ioki burst through the kitchen door, dragging his chains behind him. He threw open the window and started to climb through it. Then he saw me. He hesitated, even smiled. You don't see Mar slaves smile much. Certainly not when they're being chased by Nyx hounds. They dragged him off and threw him in the dry box. He told me he'd spend a year in there if it meant seeing me again. There's an old alchemist proverb. No reaction is ever so forceful as the mixing of opposing components. A mouthful, I know, but it fits. Ioki and I occupy different poles on the same spear. He keeps me grounded. I keep him safe. Truthfully, it doesn't. Not yet. Telvani plots take time to develop. If I demand the Oki's freedom too early, I show my hand. Suddenly, he's a valuable piece in the game, moved and sacrificed as the Magisters see fit. Do I sense a rebuke? It's not ideal, I know. Look, I treasure Ioki. He's placed his trust in me. I hope you'll do the same.
Juma Yubi. Master Erevan is away on business. Has been for some time, in fact. I know a prowler when I see one. What do you want? No one just wanders into a council mouth's office looking around. I should report you. What are you really after? And do be honest, we've already wasted enough time here. Ah, the one about Zane Tiraris, is it? Well, I could call the guard and be about my day, but I am a Telvani after all. We don't turn away an opportunity when it presents itself. Perhaps you could help me with a problem I've run into. It's a matter of literature, or lack thereof. I wrote a poem, you see, a cloying, drunken mess of a poem. The post delivered it to my darling Ether and Dora just this morning. If you get it away from her, the letter is yours. She spends most of her time in the study, here in the council hall. She's very diligent, always leaning over one book or another. And the way she licks her thumb when she turns the pages. Sorry, you'll find her in the study, yes. The poem's terrible. Plus, if word got to my parents that I'd been courting a wood elf, I'd be written out of the will, repeatedly, with red ink. Then there's also the possibility of blackmail. Why do you think Ethan Dora keeps it on her? She knows that if Master Erevan gets wind of this, he might dismiss me from his service. Clever minx. Working for a council mouth is a fine occupation, Fla. I can't risk losing it. She's such a pretty, dainty thing. Not at all like those other scrawny Acon elves. Add a half bottle of shame to a lusty heart and you wind up with some very poor decisions. This is good news. Well, did you get my poem? Quick, give it here! Phew, what a relief. All right, Fla, I'm going to burn this embarrassment. I sure hope I didn't leave Master Erevan's correspondence box unlocked. That would be careless in the extreme. Farewell. Good riddance to bad writing. 